And welcome to Eric Gaming. I am your host, Lord Eric. Today we're starting a slightly different series, uh, a game called Stranded Alien Deep. Uh, this is a very closely matched game to RimWorld, which I've played in the past back when I did Twitch. Uh, and it's a 3D upgrade essentially of it. Uh, a lot of the functions are the same, a lot of the messages apparently are the same. But I thought we would give this a shot, see how it goes, and see if we like it. Uh, I have done exactly one tutorial, and watched just enough videos to determine if I was going to like the game uh, and wanted to spend the time playing it. Uh, so we are going through this cold, and we will have to figure out how everything works as we go along. I think this could be interesting. Uh, it's a pretty looking game. Uh, I have set options. The video is set to ultra. Audio, I did turn off the music, although the dark radio stations actually kind of got some good music to it. Um, and I have done nothing else. Uh, we have our full screen. Ooh. Unlimited FPS. I don't know if this will cause problems. Or not. Keep an eye on things. But we'll see how far we can push it uh, as we go and yeah all right so let's go ahead and start a new game uh scenarios there's one crash landing region we can choose a desert random or a mountainous i think for our initial playthrough we're going to go mountain moon uh moons in this game are very much like ai apparently in rimworld Concordia is kind of a balanced. Jason gives you time but makes tough challenges. Nyx is makes things really bad at night. And Chaos as well. Chaos. Ah. <laughs> so we're going to leave that set to Concordia for now. Game difficulty, we're going to leave it at medium. Our seed is stress-belt. And there's some game rules that I really want to play with, but not until I've got a better feel for things. Uh, disable aggressive animal attacks. That's okay, but uh, random survivor. You start with a cast of random survivors, so you don't get to pick who's there and what skills you have. But everybody starts with a that has combat has a railgun sniper rifle. Kind of gotta like that. Uh, lost cause. Everybody starts with no stats or overqualified. Uh, skills are maxed out. So we're not going to mess with any of those settings right now. We're going to go to next. We're going to remove everybody from the list. And I'm going to go through and figure out who I'm going to pick. And then we'll come back. We'll talk about the choices that I've made. And we'll see how that shapes up. So I will be back before you know it. All right. We are back. We have gone with Jack, Lara, Quinn and Yoko. So Jack is a discharge general. Uh, he has pretty good combat. He's probably more specifically tailored to that. Uh, but he's got not terrible intellect, but he's interested in learning crafting. So that's not bad. Uh, his interest, his trait, though, is he occasionally improves the combat skills of others, which isn't bad. Uh, we have Lara, who... Uh, is focused on farming and some on cooking, which will be useful. And she has seeds and harvest seeds and harvest plants twice as fast, has 25% more movement speed and manipulation efficiency. And her daughter is a net who we did not pick. Quinn is a spaceship architect. Uh, he loves going on expeditions. They take less time with him. Uh, and he has a permanently increased happiness, which is fantastic. But he's got experience in construction crafting intellect and physical which we're going to need all of those and yoko is a femme fatale uh traits are crafting teacher she can improve the crafting skills of others which is a good thing uh and bloodlust gains happiness when killing or observing death it's a little weird uh 
but she has cooking, crafting, and most importantly, healing, which we're going to need. So I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and get the game started. So let's go through the opening credits here and see how it all looks. As soon as it gets loaded, that is. <laughs> and all right. Okay, we are going to pause the game there for a moment, um, and we'll take a look around and see what's going on. So, we've got our survivors, and <laughs> Quinn is crying, uh, which is interesting for a permanently cheerful personality. Uh, but, uh, it looks like, let's see, Laura is trying to calm him down, and Jack is about to try to calm him down. So... We crashed in kind of an openish area with a whole bunch of different things around us. Uh, I think we're going to actually start building over in here. That'll give us best access to everything. Um, so to get us started, we're going to do scavenge. And we're going to come over here. Whoops, sorry. And we're going to pick these and we're going to cut down a couple of trees. Uh, and... We're going to observe that, because why not? And that. So let's go ahead and get these started. we got to get some resources so we can build a place to sleep for the night. And the rest of our ship is still falling. Okay. Interesting. So Yoko is going to go look at the plant. We've got lots of stuff falling. And we have... Big horned animal. So we're going to have to observe it to figure out what exactly it is. Uh, we are definitely not ready for hunting. Uh, Quinn and Laura are, Lara are still working over here. Alright, so let's see. Uh, camp. Let's build a shelter. A scrap metal shelter. Um... Yeah, we're going to build over in here for now. So we'll get that built up and see how we're doing. Is he hurt? Is that the problem? Or is he just unhappy? He's crying. Uh, health. He's not bleeding. He's in mild pain. So, okay. All right, Jack is now salvaging. Quinn is going to go look at blades of grass. And Lara is transporting over to here to start building our shelter. So we're probably going to work on clearing out this area and maybe a little bit of this stuff here. I kind of want to leave these woods back here for now. Ooh, what are those? A twisted plant. We'll have to take a look and see what that can give us. But first things first... Shelter. I wonder, can we do another shelter right uh, there? Because I kind of want space for everybody to sleep in the same thing. That would be good. That would be very good. All right. Let's turn off a few things so we have a good view of what's going on. Laura transported that. All the materials are there. It's just a matter of building now. Alright. This has been picked clean. Oh, it's not picked clean, but Jack's going to go build that first structure. That's good. We're going to go ahead and click salvage on this. We'll come back and finish this one later, but this one's closer. So we'll definitely take that as much as we can. Plus we also have this one. There's a lot of ships crashed on this planet. That's for sure. Um, 
take a look around while they're working. So we're going to have to get some researching going. We can salvage that. Oh, what's this? Uh, an insect nest. Uh, it's not right on top of our home, but it's a little closer than I like. So we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that. Uh, Jack, good job, Jack. Let's go to camp. What can we do furniture-wise? What do we need for a bed? Uh, we can't make a bed. So we're going to make a sleep spot on the ground. We're going to put people in here like this. Do, 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 do. Real quick, now we have a place for four people. And we're going to put in... Oh, we need a campfire. We need sticks. How do we get sticks? I think we get sticks... By cutting these. Okay. All right, Lara, where are you? Huh. How do we get Lara to keep working? So Jack's going to go make a sleeping spot. Quinn is building the second structure. And at that point, we can do stockpiles. Which is perfect. So we'll get some stuff put away there. All right, Jack is going to collect that. So maybe we get our sticks that we need, make our campfire. What are those? That's hay. That's not sticks. How do we get sticks? Did the demo and we had sticks, but I didn't pay enough attention apparently. <coughs> do, 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 do. We need to build a campfire. We need sticks from bushes. 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 Where are the bushes? Uh, these are. are uh, let's cut and see. While we keep looking, tall, leafy, peculiar bush. Let's cut from there. Let's cancel this one. And see how we can, what we can get accomplished here. Although we got a place to sleep and we got some resources coming in. We do not need the hay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have it. Production. Chopping block. Uh, oh, we can cut wood into sticks. So let's go ahead and put this here. Uh, we're going to want a workbench. We don't have... Um, don't have the, oh, for the metal one we need metal. But we can get by with this. Let's put this right here. Okay. All right, they're getting stuff to eat. Oh, they seem pretty happy. And it's 1,800 hours. They stop working at 12, 2,100 hours, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Let's go ahead and fast forward time. I typically try to avoid this. Okay, Churut. Uh, the plant itself doesn't seem to be of any use. Uh, however... A developed root system and formation similar to root vegetables. They are hard to bite into, and I had to chew a lot to break them down. I wouldn't eat them like that again. 
Uh, might be decent tasted when cooked. Good to know. So let's bump up the time. Not happy that they're eating while standing. I get it. Alright, he's going to go get sticks so we can actually make a campfire. So now we can make a campfire that we'll put right there. Okay. Observe the blade of grass. Hauling over the sticks. And we'll have to collect more of this in the following day. Okay. Um, let's see. New resource. Liquid fuel. Uh... Where did they find that? Okay. Oh, we salvaged, so that came from here, I think. So Jack's heading to make the campfire now. And blade grass. Uh, took a sample of blade grass while observing it. Uh, growing and harvesting it wouldn't won't be too hard as long as one's careful with the razor sharp edges of the grass. Talk about a fitting name. Ooh. Uh, planting of blade grass for hay. So we now have the ability to plant hay, uh, which will be useful for feeding some of our creatures when we start uh, collecting them. Uh, and here comes the campfire, which means we can sleep now. Glad to know. So everybody can go to bed. <laughs> it's a little late. I apologize to this group. All right, so they're in bed. We'll see how this goes. Uh, so we survived the first day. Uh, sleeping through to the beginning of the second day. Uh-oh. Insufficient storage space. There's not enough storage space. Okay, that's fine. That's just fine. What we can do is we can do shelter. We could do sticks. Um, how are we doing scrap wise? Oh, well, let's do another scrap metal storage. Rotate that bad boy. Put it right there. And we'll do some extended storage there. Do, 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 do. Everybody's doing good. Okay, auto save. All right, we got a couple of notes here. Uh, we put together camp as quick as we could, considering the circumstances. We are not sleeping in the dirt. We had a roof over our heads and a fire to illuminate the dark, uncertain nights. And the most important, we have survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive at 1900 tonight. Great idea. Anything to keep them happy. That's fantastic. All right. So, we need to continue to expand our knowledge and get even smarter about what things we have around us. Uh, this is still being scavenged, so we're good there. We know this is blade grass. We know this is chew root. Um, can we... What can we... We should probably observe that, too. So, we definitely want to observe a bunch of stuff right away to make this easier. Okay. So Jack is building the site, and we will expand our stockpile. Actually, um, this requires resources we don't have, unfortunately. Well, we could do this. So we're going to just do these for now. The bad thing is, is you cannot do them in front because you have to have one space that's open to access them. Uh, we might try some experimenting to see if we can expand that somehow. Uh, but we should have more storage space. Let's see where everyone's at. Quinn's going to build a stockpile. 
Lara is doing nothing. All right. So let's see if we can't start a Churit farm. It's not uh, the best food, but let's see if we can't get a little bit of food going. Uh, that should get Lara busy. Ooh, what are these? Pointy red plants. We'll observe those. It is 18 or 10 hundred hours, so nine hours until the party. And we're making some progress. We're hauling food over to the storage and something else is crashing somewhere. It is a pretty game. I'll give it that. The view is fantastic. Uh, Yoko is eating. Quinn is observing. Jack is scavenging. Progress is being made. All right. We'll see how this goes. We are now seven hours from party time. So let's just kind of speed things up a little bit so that we don't sit here and watch too much of nothing. Oh, it's raining. Yep. Walking in the rain is unpleasant. So people are... Not as happy. All right, so Yoko and Lara are planting Churut. And we don't need to plant hay just yet. Let's speed things up. Actually, what we need to do is... We need to create a... Research bench... Do, 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 do. Orders. I don't see anything. Uh, science. Research. Let's make a metal one. For now. Uh oh. Insufficient storage space. <laughs> Again. That seems like it's going to be a consistent problem. Alright, let's try building... Um, another structure here. Let's go ahead and cut down some trees to get some wood. Let's cut down some bushes. To get sticks. I'm sure I could go like this. <laughs> yep. Okay. And let's speed things up. Three hours till party. All right. So we can craft not a thing thing yet um but we can start researching a bunch of stuff the first thing hay sausages <laughs> okay um that's different uh i think we want weapons smithing first so we'll start that research Ooh, flamethrowers sleep training uh, da, da, da. well, well practices the short and one sleeps. Interesting. Okay, storage is done. Let's do that and that. That works. And the question is, can we do this? Okay, we discovered a small evergreen tree. A uh, small fir-like tree could be cut down for a bit of wood. I didn't notice anything else of interest, but gathered some of the cones for seeds. Nice. And 
And what we might end up doing is expanding this to give us a little bit of space. Once this is done, we'll expand our storage. I wonder if we can actually do that now. We can. So we'll go ahead and set this up for the stockpiles right away. All right. And the party time should have started. Uh, blame Quinn for the crash. Campfire sitting. Uh, let's see. The survivors are celebrating the fact that they are still alive and kicking at an impromptu party at the campfire. Let's go to the campfire. Nice. Everybody's happy. Except Yoko. Furniture. We could... Uh, we need stone, so we're going to have to start mining stone. So let's go ahead and start a project there and there to get that done. And we can actually start making some other stuff. So... So they're happy. And then they're going to go to bed. No, oh, they're hungry. That sounded nasty growling. So let's look in production. What else can we do? Um, small drying rack. Dried meat. Leather. Mm. Work. Uh, cook stove. This is what we need. Okay. We definitely want that. Oh, we need... What is that that's needed? Is that scrap? Hmm. We need 20 of it. Got 42. We can start more salvage, which will be fine. All right. Progress. Slow but sure. Speed things up. What the heck? There are strange sounding things in these woods. Okay, we survived two days. We're making progress. <laughs> All right, we do not need to chop that into sticks just now. We could. You know, we're not going to worry about that just now. Uh, can we quick cook here? All right, let's slow everything down. Boil emergency rations does not sound good to me. Uh, collect grain, uh, collect veggies, or collect meat. We are going to have a food shortage problem before too terribly long, I'm thinking. Uh, Jack is going to be making our stove, which might give us better options for cooking. Uh, they're hauling materials over to storage. Looks like Lara is going to be getting some of the sticks, which is not bad. Yoko is observing the wide-leafed plant. Jack is way over here getting supplies. Let's speed things up a little bit. It's getting a little chilly at night, so... We're going to have to get textiles going for them, too. And... Do, 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 do. We don't have quite everything. We need more scrap metal. Uh, which we don't have any of. But I'm betting he's going to go and scavenge, and we'll get the pieces we need.
would be nice to be able to start cooking some real food fairly quickly if we have access to real food. Okay, let's slow her down and we'll take a look. Tea boiling. We can make tea now. Boiling campfires. So can we make tea? Um, do, do, do. Refuel. Nope, we want to allow it to refuel. We don't want to extinguish it. We're not going to move it. Um, so we need tea to do that. Looks like we can use smoke leaf. Uh, what did we find here? Okay. So we got a few things. A few things going here. Let's see how this hap works out. All right, we got 57 of those. That should give us enough to finish this. Can I have him prioritize? Uh, how do I... Hmm. Doesn't seem to be an option right now. That's fine. Oh, and it's getting late again. Lara is idle a lot. Let's take a look. What are your... So farming and cooking. So soon as... Oh, this is done. Uh, quick recipes. No. Tasty recipes. None. Chef recipes. No. Uh, <laughs> so I think what we need to do is harvest... These are the chew roots. So let's go ahead and harvest all of them and see how that works out all right so lara's on her way once those are in inventory the question is can i actually cook with them uh, veggies. We can now make veggie soup. We're going to make this forever. <laughs> because we need food. And if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Alright. Good. Uh, let's see. Jack's eating. We really got to get research done. Hmm. And then Instruction Basics, I think, is a good one. Tailoring and... Ooh, pickling. Pickled vegetables. What else? Uh, the flamethrowers look cool, but I don't think we're ready for that. So, let's see... We'll make some musical instruments because they need some something to make them happy. Don't you think? I think so. Okay. Let's go. Lara's eating. I'm hoping... Oh, Jack's cooking. We are getting our first vegetable soup. Alright, so I want to do some looking. Okay, we can do fences. Uh, we can only do that. We're not hunting yet, so we can't do that. We could do torches and stuff. Hey, new resource. Veggie soup. Simple meal made of boiled vegetables. Fantastic. A new food thing. Uh, furniture, a uh, target for shooting. Sweet. Uh, we haven't, oh, we have, um, <laughs> hmm. let's do a wooden table. It's outside. I don't care for that, but for now. And for nature, let's put in some stools. Uh, 
Let's just give them a little bit to make them happy. For now. That'll help. That'll make them a little happier. Uh, so, we were trying to figure a few things out. Um, we're going to need... Fabric, uh, cloth, leather, chemical synthe synthesis, or chem uh, synthetic materials, or metal ref and metal refinement. Um, I'd love to figure out how do we get fabric. I think that's a research or a plant we're going to have to do research on, or maybe even an animal. Uh, if we can find that, that would be great. These are getting big um yeah there's so much to do we're getting chairs we've got a table we've got some storage and everybody seems to be doing good they're happyish <laughs> as happy as they're gonna be uh farms okay we do have new th farms we have smoke leaf and trees under camp we can do a grave let's not worry hope we don't need that for a while torch um uh, provides light while burning campfire and our shelters uh nope and then orders we can do all kinds of things these are doing not bad. They're healthy. They're grown at 80%. We'll get 840 out of it. That'll be good. Um, it's in clay, so it's only growing at 80%. It's not the most optimal growth pattern, but it's better than nothing. And we're getting food. Oh, they're eating. Uh, so Yoko told Sh Jack she's scared of being stuck here. I can't say as I blame her. Although I could think of worse planets to be stuck on. So Laura's cooking. So how do we get... You know, we've got research scheduled. How do we get research actually done? Aha. Let me guess. Numbers. Ah, this is exactly like RimWorld. So we can actually assign... <laughs> prioritization uh, to people and I believe it's the mm, yep this is increasing the priority um, so we're gonna do this real quick set everything to two except the basic things that I need want them to be able to do so uh, if they're gonna the healer or the People that can do healing have... That is the highest priority. Um, and then we can do research. I think we're going to have Quinn... Well, Quinn has a lot of things. Laura can't do research. Um, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to set Jack to primary on research. So that that's getting done a little bit more quickly. Because Quinn can do salvage, which is fantastic. So, good. Maybe we'll start getting some of the research done at the research bench. And Lara is cooking like crazy. Which is great. Let's see. How do we see? Uh, we can hide the walls and the ceilings. That's good. Show all active orders. We want that on. Um, portraits yeah, I don't think we need that for the most part that's that and resource amounts yeah we can leave it on <laughs> alright Jack is finally doing research uh, Lara is still cooking Looks like we've got a fair amount of these. We're getting some decent soup. We've got a bunch of sticks. Progress is being made. We might actually survive. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? It'd be a first. All right. 
I think, though, folks, uh, we are 40-ish minutes in. I don't want to make the video too terribly long. <laughs> so Jack pretended not to hear Lara's concerns. Nice, Jack. Very nice. But, uh, folks, at this point, I think we're going to wrap this up here. Uh, and we'll see how this goes in coming episodes. Uh, I've got some hopes and dreams and plans for this crew to see if they can survive. I think we can. So we just have to be cautious and do things carefully. Make the right decisions. Uh, we've got shelter, we've got storage, we've got a campfire, we've got some basic equipment, tools for making stuff, um, crafting. We still can't craft anything because we don't have stuff. Uh, <laughs> can we make do, 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 not yet because he's still researching it gotcha alright so folks at this point we're going to call this I am Lord Elric thank you for watching if I have earned it please feel free to like and subscribe I would appreciate any feedback on this and if you guys like this and want me to keep going I'll probably do a couple more episodes at least but looking for any feedback and input until next time thank you for watching bye bye mm -hmm.